hope you have a strong stomach, senor. Roll the ugliness. Welcome to my humble mess. This is the inside of a Millermatic 140 auto set that I bought back in 2011. And uh, it was supposed to come with a switch to go from MIG welding to a spool gun so I could do aluminum. According to the ID number, the serial number, this was supposed to come from the factory with that switch. Well, it didn't. <laughs> So I go down to the local welding supply where I bought this thing, and I say, "Hey, how come it's not? How come I can't feed no wire with my spool? What's up?" And at first, I didn't know that this switch even existed. And at that switch, they said it was supposed to come with my spool gun, but I bought my spool gun used, and so apparently, that switch is inside that spool gun somewhere that I don't know where it is because I don't own that welder. So what I got to do is pull this cover out or pop it out from the other side probably easier and put the switch in and I ordered the switch and you can get the switch from Amazon it's a little faster than getting it from your welding supply it uh, has these capacitors which I figure is probably to preserve the main board in some fashion keep uh, arcing to a minimum and it has connectors on both ends this is a straightforward procedure because what you do is you disconnect the connector that's there and you connect one connector to that and one connector to, to the uh, other end and it sorts everything out for you uh, the trigger still works from the front from the front through the socket like it's supposed to except this time except now it just triggers from the from the spool gun instead of from the internal feed mechanism which is down here so I had the darnest time when I first got it because I got my spool gun with no instructions <laughs> So I went around with it for, for about an hour and I scratched my head and finally I called down to the to the welding shop and he didn't know. He had to consult Miller Technical Support. And that's where Miller Technical Support said according to the serial number, this should already have one. Now one would think if the technical support said this thing should have one, that maybe they should provide one for free for the one that's missing. Uh-uh. $68, my friend. Yeah, however, you can buy it off Amazon for about the same price, and you can get it a whole lot faster than going through your supply chain from your welding supply. So, if you're in a hurry, that's the way to go. I ordered mine, and it, came, it got here four days later. They told me at the welding supply that if I ordered it, it would probably take two weeks to get it. That's standard from, from Miller to get to them. So anyway, without uh, further ado, uh, we're going to start start doing this job. Let me flip this around to the other side and we'll get started. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws here and all the ones in the handle. The handle screws go, go in through the sheet metal and into the frame to uh, Help not cause damage to the sheet metal by trying to lift this thing up on just the sheet metal, which is understandable. This thing's a hernia maker for me. I'm an old man. So I had to have my son lift this thing. I don't feel like being broken for the rest of the day. When I bought this thing, I could lift it. Being old and decrepit, not so much. I'll get back to you when I get the last screws on the top. Well, I thought I was going to have to look around for a second, but I guess it couldn't be no clearer than that. This connection with this tall spool gun switch. So there you go. It was, that was convenient. Now the plug for that uh, switch here, let me bring the camera up. Whoa. 
you got this on a magnetic mount. The plug is right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna have to work get that out. But uh That's the easy part. Now, part goes in there, and part goes in here. And the switch goes that way. And They say this side up anywhere. Hopefully it's got the notch on there because it's not labeled up or down. Okay. And let me turn it around and get that uh, hole emptied out so I got a place to put my switch. A quick call down to tech support got me my answer. The notch on the switch, on the threaded part of the barrel of the switch, goes up top. Then after you're done with that, you can put the little waterproof guard on there. Now when you test this with the, with the MIG gun on it instead of the spool gun and uh, switch down the MIG, the uh, wire should feed from inside inside the MIG welder. If you flip it up without even having to go put on the spool gun, the wire won't feed. The spool gun should feed. And that's pretty much it. All that's left to do now is put on all the screws and put the you know, cover back on and, and then uh, go get my spool gun and, and try this out. I've had a spool gun as long as I've had the machine, but uh, Never had a job to use it on. I bought it just in case because I wanted to do some aluminum work. And uh, figured I'd have it on hand instead of having to look for it at a later date. And the deal was good on it, so I couldn't pass it by. But there it is. I'm happy with it. And we'll try this out. If, if it doesn't work, I'll get back to you. If it works, I got work to do. It's, it's busy for me. So much for <laughs> the tech support line. I wound up having to flip this over. Let's try this again. Let me squeeze the old trigger on the on the mid gun. We got drive. Flip the switch to spool gun. We have gas solenoid, but we do not have we do not have uh, wire feed. Okay, we got what we we're looking for. We're done. All I got to do now is stitch it up. Another fine job. Now I'm not shy about opening these up. Back when I got out of the Navy, I went to work at a place that used to service uh, MIG welders. Back then, the hot unit was the Millermatic 35, which they are still around. Miller's a good machine, but uh, I didn't need that much room taken up. I'm already cramped in here, and currently I'm even more cramped because the uh, the outbuilding is packed with woodworking tools. I got no room to walk in there. So this summer, anyway, I don't do much do much awesome. out there. When you do the spool gun, you take this off. And you put the one from the spool gun on there, and you use the spool gun's ground and the spool gun's trigger socket. Just swap them out, and everything's good to go.